I call Pay Melon here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I've given an AmeriCorps update, so I'm going to give an AmeriCorps update right now. So we've just restarted June 1st. Um, we were off for two months because of the coronavirus, but we were able to find a way to help with the coronavirus. So what we AmeriCorps members will be doing right now is something called contact tracing. Contact tracing is something we have to basically be trained for. So right now I'm actually doing the training, which I will show in just a moment. And contact tracing is when we basically get information on someone that has tested positive for the coronavirus. And then we have to call and basically let everyone know who they've come in contact to, where they've been, and we need to learn a lot about um, where they've gone and who they've come in contact with. So we will be doing training for the next week or so. Um, we keep in contact with our teams. We do basic Zoom calls, and then we talk to the people on campus. And basically, we're doing a lot of training to find ways to help with the coronavirus from at home. So I think this is a great way for us to like keep in service while we're doing it. And plus like, like AmeriCorps has never been through something like this. And I don't think anyone like my age has even seen any type of pandemic like this. So as far as how it's affected the AmeriCorps members, we're still um, active members. We're just doing something different. It's not like when we're traveling. So it is something that's new, it's different. Um, it's gonna be a great experience just because um, we are still doing something to help, which I felt like, so drastically sad about because when I was sitting at home watching the news and seeing all these people like struggling and how there was such a lack of volunteers, I was thinking to myself, why isn't AmeriCorps like out there helping? Our entire job is to do community service and do work for other people. And it was because they didn't want to put us at risk. We're very young as far as like AmeriCorps, like the age, the age group. So as far as putting us at risk with the coronavirus it was too dangerous for a government association to basically send us out and do work so this is the second best thing where we're doing online work it's all like no face-to-face -face contact it keeps us all safe and i think it's a great idea so like as far as how it's going to work i'm definitely going to do a lot of videos and like walk you through it it's going to be very different from what you like see in my other videos so um, I'm also going to be doing another video as far as like a packing list and everything you need to know about AmeriCorps because I have received great feedback from everyone. It's been so good. Like, thank you guys for asking questions, talking to each other about where you're being deployed and where you're going. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm as far as everything else, like I will be answering any questions. And if you have any questions about coronavirus and anything that's going on in the last in the next couple of weeks or so, I will be happy to answer them. So we're gonna get to all the training I'm about to do and everything that I've done so far. Disease that emerged in 2019, and for short, we say COVID-19. Okay, so right now I'm actually doing the training and what they've covered so far is the history, the basic names of Corona and how it evolved and mutated to pass from bats and onto people and how it spread throughout the United States and everywhere else. So it's giving us like a background on it and it's really like educating because tell you the truth, I didn't know much about this. I only see what they show me in memes. So I knew it came from bats. I just didn't realize it took about like over 10 years in the making to evolve and to passing on from human to human. So right now we're basically doing the basic names and it's educating us on what we need to talk, like what we need to know to be able to talk to people that have come in contact with it and answer um, a various amount of questions. So um, today we're doing an SLI assignment. We're doing three groups of three, four. So we are talking about the coronavirus, how it impacted us individually, talking about the business and you know, how it's impacting the government. And basically we're talking about, you know, when it comes to like, the equipment of how we're not getting a lot of stuff for coronavirus testing and how it's impacting everybody from the middle class to the upper class. Yeah, so that's like it. basically we're just doing Zoom calls. That's like the best we can do right now. So we've been condemned to the idea that our meetings and our important stuff has to be held over Zoom. So, you know, your favorite TL, Reese is here, and then we have Lester. 
me and Lester used to be media reps, but now we're SLI. And SLI is just the people that basically get in touch with the greater meaning of our work. Is that right? Basically, yes. Find the deeper meaning of what we're actually doing. Yeah. Okay. So basically we're condemned to Zoom calls. But anyways, it's not that bad. It's the best we can do. And as far as contact tracing, I'm going to go more into detail and on that later. Okay. I don't want to change.